that would have been horrific had that not happened. Thank you. Because there are several people that wanted, you know, to join us today and unfortunately they couldn't. So thanks. Okay. So let me just backtrack a little guys since we're, we're rehearsed, we are uh, recording now. So here's our agenda, Big Connect at a glance. I'll give you an overview of the Big Connect Expo this year, 2020. Then I'll talk through the features of our Expo booths, two virtual booth packages. One is called the Exhibitor and one is called the Big Connect Exhibitor Plus. And we'll explain why it's plus. Um, then you'll hear directly from the video company. Uh, founder is Donnell Durden and he's on with us today. So he will go through uh, the features of both videos, but it's, it's but both packages, sorry. But really, um, he's gonna focus on the Big Connect Exhibitor Plus as he's the video company that you'll be getting your 30 second spot from, should you choose to make that decision. And then we'll show a live example and that'll be done by our staff person, uh, Shantae Williams Monroe. So you'll see a live example of the chamber booth. We'll talk through some next steps and how to load it. And as I mentioned earlier, it's a templated process um, and Shantae will explain that and uh, be assisted by Matthew Hadash from Hoova. Hoova is our online platform that is sort of going to be the backbone and structure of our virtual booth. And then we'll finalize um, our time together with advertising opportunities from New Haven Register and Hearst Media. And Rich Cadenese is here to do that for us today. Now I'll stop sharing this and go back to the Big Connect schedule at a glance. So as I mentioned, the Big Connect Expo has been happening for at least 15 years. Um, I've been with the Chamber for three years and this year's theme is navigate the future of business now. And what that means is with all the uncertainty, all the change, all the influx, everything that everybody's been feeling, you know, we share that reality together. Um, you know, people have said, well, how in the world <laughs> Am I going to navigate the future of my business with all that stuff going on? So that's really the whole point behind this expo, to really arm and equip you, give you the strategies, the tips, the tools for doing that. So we expect, and, and I'll get to this in a few minutes, we expect to draw a large audience. When we've done this in person, we've had over a thousand business professionals, CEOs, entrepreneurs, um, small business owners, medium-sized businesses, large corporations. So we've had a, a broad swath of attendees to come to our Big Connect Expo when we've done it face-to-face uh, -face in person. So we expect to draw uh, similar numbers um, and it's four days, so it's spread out and it's 8.30 to one, roughly. There'll be one day that we start a little bit early at eight o'clock on Wednesday because we've got a special uh, nonprofit event, um, but it, Basically, those are basic the, the, the time frames for our expo. So we're really excited about that. So I'm gonna just scroll, scroll down. I won't spend too much time on this, but this is just to give you a, a heads up. Um, and if you are part of the chamber uh, mailing list, you should be seeing these, uh, the schedule mailed out to you in our e-blast. So there'll be more information. And if for some reason you need, you haven't seen it, you can definitely put your name and your email address in the chat and let me know. And I can email the schedule to you. And I'll put my email in the chat a moment uh, in, a, in a few minutes. So as I said, it's navigate the future of business now. Here's the agenda at a glance. So on Monday, you can see we have Frank Cessno here. He's an Emmy award-winning journalist and former CNN correspondent. And then we have some panel discussions, two panel discussions. So one is about positive pivots and best practices during the pandemic. All of us, um, you know, despite where you have fallen in your business with the pandemic, I'm sure I can probably look back and find sort of the silver lining with all this craziness. Um, and so this panel is going to highlight some of the silver linings that they have had in, in order to educate and inspire us and share information. And then we'll have a panel discussion, access to capital and other support for your business. And this will be a panel. Um, this is not the latest schedule, there, are, be, there will be some updates, but I just wanted to show this to you uh, at this point. And then we have a special presentation coming up at the end of Monday. Um, if people have heard about the happiness class that's at Yale University, this is the professor that teaches it. 
It's a very, very popular class. Um, and so we thought that this sort of flowed with the whole theme of moving forward, collaboration, teamwork, and navigating the future of business. So she talks about the science of well-being. Um, so in, in addition to taking care of you and your business, um, this is going to also be a very insightful uh, topic where she'll walk you through literally, you know, how do you navigate? How do you cope with all the change and all the, all the um, innovation and all the disruption? I, I, exactly, I should say, all the disruption. So that's Monday. So it's the whole theme of the day, as you can see here, is progress through pandemic pivots. And then Tuesday, moving over to my right, you see uh, we have strategies and tools to navigate professional roles and your core job functions. So whether you're in sales or marketing um, or finance or IT, um, we are trying to uh, provide some tools and strategies to help you uh, navigate um, the future of business. I make it a little bit larger because it looks really small. Um, Thank you. Yep, I was reading your mind. And our keynote speaker is Toby Corey. And as you can see there, he's a former president of Tesla. And he's gonna be speaking about get virtual. So that's gonna be really interesting to hear because again, virtual is where it's at. You know, This pandemic has taught us one thing, it's taught us to make sure we have a virtual footprint and we have a presence online. So he's gonna be talking about that. Then we have a panel discussion at 10 o'clock, equity and inclusion through authentic means. This will be coming to you from an HR uh, standpoint. You know, how do you make sure that your company has achieved that? And so we're going to be talking to the companies who have done a really good job of modeling equity and inclusion through a, authentic means. Then we go to a really fun panel, I think, uh, the Women's Power Panel, which is going to be at 11, navigating resiliency while keeping your lipstick on. So I think that's going to be fun. Um, and we have two of our panelists there. And you can see one of them is L the, the Lieutenant Governor, our Lieutenant Governor. Susan Beiswitz. So we're very excited to have her and equally as excited to have uh, Courtney Jajenka, who works with uh, Key Bank. And then closing out this day, we've got um, how to create another panel, how to create a business plan and adapting your business strategy. So this group of folks will talk to you first about establishing your, your business plan. And then again, with all the change that we're all going through, they'll talk to you about really how to take your current business strategy and how to make it adaptable so that it's just not something that is static and lives on the shelf, but it's something that can change through, through change, through, through, through other products or problems or things that might come up. Now it's a pandemic and uh, record unemployment, um, but unfortunately, you know, there might be something coming down the pack, not to, not to depress us all, but just to be realistic so that we can make sure that our businesses are sound and can adapt. So that'll close out our Tuesday. And then quickly moving to Wednesday, we have our nonprofit awards and grant school grant, graduate school grant presentations. We have a wonderful keynote speaker in Bill Strickland. He's a president and CEO of Manchester Bidwell Corporation. So again, can, he's gonna talk- Can you talk get your screen? Like if you can move it over, I'm having a hard time seeing the full screen. I don't oh. know if anybody else is. You need to- I don't know how to change it. Uh, maybe I'll just zoom in more. The left margin is getting cut off. There you go. Is that a little bit better? Uh, unzoom a little bit. <laughs> I, I take it, uh, make it a little bit smaller. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for that. So we have Bill Strickland, who's going to be the keynote speaker for Wednesday. And the theme, incidentally, for this day is dynamics and trends for the top industries. So we've, we're going to be talking about the nonprofit industry, manufacturing, and bioscience. So as you can see there, we start off with our nonprofit awards and graduate school grant presentations. Then we go to Bill Strickland. He's going to be talking about making the impossible possible. So that's going to be inspirational. Then we've got a panel discussion here talking about the advanced, manu uh, advanced manufacturing, the evolving face of Connecticut manufacturing. We have Commissioner uh, Katie Dykes, who will be coming from uh, Deep Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. So she'll be sharing some insights on uh, the Transfer Act and other topics. We will finish Wednesday off with a panel discussion talking about the advancements within bioscience. 
and Garrett Sheehan, our president and CEO, will be moderating that panel. And you can see all of the folks that are there on this panel. And again, I will send you in the chat my email address. And if you want to see this um, closer up, I will definitely send this to you. And then we'll finish up on Thursday with strategies for professional development. Um, so obviously, given where we are currently um, with the political uh, uh, occurrences right now and the presidential results uh, that are not quite determined and who knows by November 19th, hopefully we know, but we thought it'd be important and mindful, honestly, to share with you some political commentary. So we have Ross Dupat from the New York Times. He'll be available to share some insight with you and his perspective. Um, and then following that, we've got our very talented uh, friend, uh, Paul Mayer, bringing a panel um, of his own, talking about unique staffing structures um, and the new contract worker in the new gig economy. You know, how you can find uh, employment and continue to um, develop yourself professionally by having contracts and having gigs as opposed to working with one specific company. Then we'll have another panel discussion, Train for Tomorrow. This will be brought by our friend uh, Wanda Larry with Workforce Alliance, and she will be providing the panelists here. And then we're bringing it home with a workshop, How to Get Hired. That's so again, one. with okay, all of the changes, How to Get Hired. Pamela so Shand. Okay, so I know I went through that very quickly. Are there any questions on our schedule at a glance? Okay, and I'm just gonna peek at the chat because I see the chat is going through. Okay, very good. So I will just put my information in the chat in a few moments. So at this point, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here. And I'm gonna go back to our slide. So Bob, Felice just mentioned to me, got a little fun fact as you're doing that, is that um, actually Ross Duthat went to Hamden Hall. He's an alum. So ah. I, think, I think we need to let Hamden Hall know that he is going to be presenting. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Bob. Okay. So why a virtual booth? So, you know, with everything that I should share, it's obviously, and of course, again, I'm biased, it's going to be an amazing expo four days of really great content. So with all of the uh, advertising and marketing that we are doing as at, at the chamber, uh, TV, radio, print ads, digital ads, uh, three or four billboards, um, social media posts and press releases, this is the place you want to be. You want to be here to highlight your business. So here I'm just giving you a, some um, factoids about why you would want a virtual booth. So as you can see, as I've highlighted in the first paragraph here, no staffing is required. So this is a place where you can actually come, um, you know, represent your business. And while you're out taking care of your business, you will have representation each of the four days of this expo 24 seven, because it exists on the chamber website, gnhccexpo.com. And you're going to hear that URL over and over and over again uh, during our, our time together. So uh, to me, this is really, um, oops, sorry, um, a really good investment for you because you'll be able to have exposure to your brand and to your business without having to be there all the time as you would in a physical booth. So that's one good thing to point out. Um, and with our packages, we're making sure to give you exposure and coverage before the expo and obviously during the expo and even after the expo. Because as you'll see, when we talk through the packages, you'll be able to have um, exposure even until the end of the year, until December 31st um, on our website. So we're really excited to bring that to you. Some of the bullet points here that I've mentioned again is you know, since this is a virtual event, you can have exposure to any place in the country. You know, With in-person events, it was only if you were in our region and could travel to New Haven to actually enter the building, we had it at the Omni last year, you'd have to actually come to the building and experience it. The beauty of virtual is it can be from any geography across the country. That's a good thing. This will allow you also to build your online footprint and, and increase exposure to your brand. 
you can enjoy um, all of the um, advertisements and exposure that we're gonna be providing for you on our chamber websites and social media networks. And we have four social media networks. We've got Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and this also gives you an opportunity to use up-to-date technology to meet new prospects and gain leads. So you'll see as we talk through the virtual booth, it really is what you make of it. Um, almost kind of like a gym, gym membership. If you're really committed and you put your best into it, you'll get you know, a lot out of it. So just think about that and really be creative and have fun with it as you put your booth together. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you'll be part of a larger, um, really strong uh, structured expo this year, um, you know, navigate the future of business now. And as I mentioned to you earlier, I went through all those details so you, so you know what you're gonna be a part of and you know the types of people that will be coming to, uh, to witness and take part of this expo. And then I just have a little factoid here at the bottom that last year's expo attracted uh, 1,200 business professionals. So again, that's, that's who you're gonna get exposure to through your virtual, through your virtual booth. Um, so with that, I'm gonna just quickly go through the two packages and then I'll pause uh, for questions. So the first package, as I alluded to earlier, is called the Big Connect Exhibitor. And this package is brought to you for $4.95 for partners, um, non-partners, uh, $7.95. And as you can see here, it's really focused attention for your business on our Chamber Expo website. And again, that Expo website is gnhccexpo.com. Um, and if maybe one of the staff people, if you can write that in the chat for me, that'd be Got great. It. Thank you. So you'll have focus attention on your business on our website. You'll have your logo and company description, a link to your website or social media page, link to your email address, and even a map link to your physical address. If your business is a brick and mortar location then you can um, have a, a map link directly to that address. You will have uh, the opportunity to, to share uh, your own 30 second spot. So if you have a video commercial that you have already, um, we will uh, showcase that. There's a place in the virtual booth that you see a, a little bit in, the, in, the, in a few minutes. You'll see where that can be uploaded. And again, that will remain on our website until December 31st. So again, great coverage that lasts far beyond the expo day, four days. We'll also give you social um, media posts upon registering your booth. We have a following of 3,000 established followers on our Facebook page. Um, LinkedIn is about 1,700. And we have that amount also on, um, on Twitter and a little bit lower on Instagram. So it's really good exposure for your business because again, we're gonna post that congratulations, you've got a booth, and then we'll be doing some posts throughout the time leading up to the expo and then even after the expo. You also will get what we call a big connect marketing toolkit. And some of you probably have already received that because you've already signed up for your booth. Um, so that's gonna be a few graphics. So we're gonna give you the, the logo, um, an email signature, and a social media graphics that you can help spread the word that you were an exhibitor and help bring people and sort of help build the crowd of all the attendees. Um, there will be a digital program book. So you will be added to that program book and that will be sent out to all of the chamber uh, businesses. So not just to the expo attendees, but all of the chamber businesses. So that's over 6,000 email addresses. You will have inclusion in our regional uh, media outlets through a press release exposure to the regional media outlets through a press release. And then we will also um, share additional information um, in our print and digital ads, highlighting um, all the companies that have a virtual booth with us. So again, this is uh, the basic package for 495, 75 non-partner. Now the next package just builds on top of this. And that is the Big Connect Exhibitor Plus. And as you can see, that package is $15.95 for partners, $19.95 for non-partners. So the first line there in bold explains what I just said. It builds on top of that. In addition, this one gives you a professionally developed, so if you don't have a 30 second spot and you want one, that's when we would hand you over to Donnell Durden, who's on again today, and he'll be talking soon. And he will, his company, will produce a 30 second spot for you to have. And you can 
keep this video well after the expo. It's your property because you paid for it. And so this is something we're really proud to offer because when you think about in-person events, there hasn't been something that you've walked away with in the past if you've exhibited, exhibited with us in the past. This is actually collateral, an asset that you can walk away with and you can share it on your website. You can share it on your social media page. So it's yours to keep. And then I just highlighted here in the middle of the slide, some of the formats that, we can, that you can have. So there's a product demonstration. And again, Donnell will kind of explain what that means. Interview format or an individual presentation. So you can talk with him and say, oh, I wanna do a video, but I'm not quite sure which format I should do given the nature of my business, given what I'm selling. So he can talk that through with you and help you decide on the format. And all of the videos will be shot in studio and we'll have two rounds of revision. Um, and we're, we're doing that respectfully so that we can make sure to fit all of you in to our schedule and have enough time to double check everything, make sure everything is just perfect with your video and then get it uploaded for our expo. And then finally, with this plus package, you'll get a dedicated email blast to our chamber database between the time of sign up and the end of the year. So even again, if we don't do it before the expo, there's plenty of time afterwards that we're building in the process here to make sure you have time to get exposure uh, for your business. So those are the two packages. Um, the baseline, as I explained to your big connect exhibitor, and then the plus builds on that and gives you the 30 second developed spot that Dunnell will be doing for you with aligning. So I'm gonna pause here and Danelle is also available uh, for questions. And I've seen the chat going off. I'm gonna read the chat, but if there are any questions, now is the time. Hey guys, <laughs> do I have the uh, ability to share? Sure, so I'm gonna give it to you now. So how you guys doing? Like, like Tamika said, I'm Donnell from Aligning. We do marketing and we specialize in like video production and social media marketing. So this, this event is, uh, you know, right up our alley and we're excited to help you guys uh, put together some content that not only you could like take advantage of these four days, but also, like she said, take some, take content with you to use inside of your marketing mix. And then like, also when we have this consultation, I'm also available. I have a bunch of ideas as far as distributing, like, you know, doubling down on the impact of using the advertisement or catapulting off of the advertisement that the chamber is already doing. Cause uh, Tamika mentioned the amount of followers and the things that they have, but, but what's also unsaid is like the attention that we're now spending on growing that social media platform. So what's kind of cool as you guys, as businesses have an opportunity to kind of grow with us, you'll be on these pages that we're also spending ad monies, you know, uh, putting up content, attracting people to the expo, attracting people to the, like, you know, signing up. We're, we're, we're diligently adding to that email list as we speak. So like, we're all kind of growing together as businesses and the expo is kind of like the epicenter of that, which is pretty dope. Um, so I wanted to play like a quick video, quick video, kind of everything of what Tamika said. Um, and even these, it's, it's animated. This could even be an option of like the type of video that we do. Like there's so many options that we could do. Uh, so let me see how this share thing is going. Yeah, you should have the ability now. I made you co-host. Yep, I got it. Thanks for that. You guys can see me? <laughs> I thought you were going to come on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's make sure the same. That one's not playing, so let's try it this way. The chamber. One second. I don't know if you know this too, when you share it, um, click the share screen button. In the mm. bottom left of the window, you can share your computer audio as well. You can check off that box. Ah, okay, that's probably the problem. And while he's doing that, does anyone have any questions thus far? Hi, Tamika, this is Pat Hall-Janes. Um, Hi, Pat. How are you? Good, good, uh, good. 
I would like to know what is the schedule for the uh, 30 second video shoots? Great question. So um, I have you already uh, identified. So I'm gonna be sending out an email to you directly uh, and the four that we know about so far uh, with Donnell. And okay. then he's going to share with you his availability. You'll share your availability, he'll share yours and then we'll get you scheduled. Okay, and, and I also found out this morning that I'll be here another week, so. Oh, fabulous and very convenient. Ability here, is that? Awesome. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Donnell from Aligning. We specialize in content marketing and I just love helping businesses grow. That's why I linked up with the Greater New Haven Chamber of Commerce for their biggest event of the year, the Big Connect 2020, to present you a new way to promote your business, the virtual booth. This year, we're offering two packages. But first, let me tell you what comes in both. All exhibitors will be included in our social media posts. They'll receive a Big Connect marketing toolkit. They'll get their logo on the digital program book, as well as be included in any promotional efforts we use. Now, let's talk about these packages. First, the Big Connect Exhibitor. This package is ideal for the business that already has a commercial or content that they would like customers to see. So this package, you'll get an assigned spot in the interactive floor plan on the Expo website, complete with your logo and description and all the relevant links that you provide. Now remember, this booth doesn't come with any content. So if you're a company that has great content that you would like to share, the Big Connect Exhibitor package is for you. The Big Connect Exhibitor costs $4.95 for partners and $7.95 for non-partners. Next, the Big Connect Exhibitor Plus. This package is ideal for companies looking for exposure as well as new content that they can use to promote their business. The Big Connect Exhibitor Plus comes with everything the Big Connect Exhibitor comes with. Plus, you get fresh, new, and professional content made by Aligning. Now, this is valued at over $4,000, but for partners, it only costs $15.95, and for non-partners, it's $19.95. We'll produce a brand new video, and we'll make sure it's safe and convenient for you. We can do pretty much whatever you like. The greatest thing about it is you can use this great video forever. In addition to the video content, you'll get one dedicated email blast to the Chamber database. That's thousands of contacts. So business owners, entrepreneurs, what are you waiting for? Here's how you register. The deadline is Friday, November 6th. Contact pservices at gnhcc.com to register. The Big Connect 2020 online. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But you're like, also like uh, Tamika said, uh, we'll be sharing today. I'm, there's a there's a few people already uh, enlisted, so we'll be sharing my availability with them. But also after today, there'll be a Calendly link that will have the full availability from now until you know the deadline. And I I know the video said a deadline, but I think it may be stressed out a little bit up until then. Um, so like she said, uh, and like the video says, we could do it a few different ways. We could even do like a Zoom type of thing, like almost kind of turn these into something that's marketable and something that's palatable for your potential uh, customers to see. Um, actually, let me, let me, um, again, like if there's any questions you guys could ask, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show one video kind of like, if you're not up to coming to our studio or if you're not, if you don't have, like if you wanna kind of, do a Zoom thing that you want to turn into something that could be a 30 second ad that could potentially sell something. I, I'm going to show you kind of an example. And um, Tamika, like if they have any questions, you could just hold it down for like two seconds. I'm going to find this other video. Let's see. Okay. Are there any other questions? I've been answering questions in the chat about the schedule. Okay. As I wrote in the chat, um, if you're getting the basic package, you can start building your booth right away. Um, because as soon as we know that you have purchased your booth, uh, Shantae Williams Moreau, who again is on the call on the Zoom, um, will send you a link. And some of you have already received that link. So you can go in and start building your booth. So that's, you know, totally on your schedule at your convenience. And then for those of you who are interested in the plus, where you're going to have Donnell to make your, your 30 second spot. That, as he mentioned, we're going to be um, sending you an email very shortly to get you scheduled, um, and he'll provide a link where you can go on and see his available spots and schedule your time to get your your video produced. Hey, Tamika, how do you physically sign up for the uh, for either one of the packages? 
Mm -hmm. Great question. That's going to be coming um, up, but I'll just tell you now. Um, so on our website, gnhcc.com, on the chamber website, the main chamber website, um, there's a link there that you can register um, and sign up for your for your booth. Or you could also contact and email Ray Andrewson. And Ray, if you want to just wave your hand, there he is. Um, he's also available if you want to email Ray. And he's also put his contact information in the chat. So you have those two options, either on our website or through Ray. Well, I guess there's a third option. If you already know who your business development person is too, you can reach out to them directly. So uh, Absolutely. So Betsy Hurley, he is on the call in Glen Archer or somewhere. I, I don't see where- Yeah, I'm, I'm here. here. Yeah, Ce okay. Cecil, Cecil, you know where to find me. Call him Glen with two ends. I have this- <laughs> I have this video popped up. Let me, let's see if I can see. So this is kind of like the the option if you really don't want to do much and we and I can kind of consult you on like where to place your lamps in front of your computer, like, you know what I mean? And then we could kind of make something like this out of it. This is something we recently did. I hear that you're looking for some help in making your business model. My name is Justin Silver, and I'm one of the venture advisors here at Size City. In a minute, I'm gonna walk you through one of the best tools that we have to work on your business model. It is called the Business Model Canvas, and it's one of the best frameworks that we have to understand how your business is going to work. But first, let's talk about what even a, a business model is. In short, it's the way that you plan to have your business make money. But it's more holistic than just the product or service that you're selling. It answers questions like the who, the what, the where, the when, and the why of your business. It's not a step-by-step -step playbook, and it's absolutely okay to make changes as you go. In fact, it's not written in stone at all. A strong business model gives you assumptions that you're able to test and then prove, right? or prove wrong. Then you can adjust those assumptions as you go. Some of you might be wondering, well, I'm not working on a business. Does this still apply to me? The answer is absolutely yes. Even nonprofit organizations and short-term projects need to entertain stakeholders and this framework will help them do that, raise funding and even more. Stay with me as I go through the original version, but at the end, we'll talk about how this framework applies to social enterprises and even more. But it's not too uncommon to have an amazing idea, but actually no clue around the details of the how, the what, the when, and the why. The Business Model Canvas will help you break down all of those big questions and help you answer them with ease. All right, so here's the Business Model Canvas in all its glory. Each one of these boxes ties to some of the key questions involved in your business. You should have a copy of this template on hand to fill out yourself. And as we go through this framework, I'm going to use a classic example. So yeah, that's kind of like, obviously ours will be shorter and it'll be to the point of you trying to sell a service or a product or, you know, have brand awareness and we'll be, you know, curt to that. But yeah, just to give an idea, there's so many possibilities. Like we could turn a boring Zoom into something that's palatable and something that you could actually sell stuff from. So the opportunity is pretty cool here. Like, like, and like Tamika said, they have just the Chamber of Commerce. They have a, the email list is super long, you know, cause you're on it, you know what I mean? So there's so many possibilities that are here, whether you don't, if you don't use the plus, but I would take advantage of just the opportunity. And if you do use the plus, I wouldn't settle at just uh, advertising in uh, those four days, like Rich probably could attest to the point of you need to be consistent with your advertising. And if you leave away from this with a piece of something that you can market and actually talk to your potential customer base, it's like a super steal. So sign up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, any questions for Donnell? For those of you who are thinking, I might want to have that virtual video, um, that video produced by 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 aligning. And I see your finger. Do you have an example of an interview format? Um, I know that's one of the options. Oh, you're muted. 
I got you. Give me two seconds. I'll do my little great surf. Something that we've done in person, right? And while you're looking through that, are there any other looking for that? Are there any other questions? No. Okay. So now when you are, while you continue to look, I'm going to have Shante now um, just show you an example. Tamika, I have a quick question. Sorry, I, I, I had to get to the mute button. Okay. Uh, how does somebody walk the show? Um, yes. So we actually are going to be um, having a list. So we that was a modification that we made uh, late in the game. So they're not going to necessarily, the idea was when I said walk the show in the past, we were gonna have a virtual floor plan where people like literally like you'd see on screen a virtual room, so to speak, and with, you know, rows and lanes and you could actually kind of walk the show floor. But now it's basically gonna be a list. So you'll see a listing and you'll see that example too when Shante, um, as she prepares uh, her example, but you'll see a list, a designated spot on the website where all of the exhibitors will be listed. And then people can look at your brand, look at your company and then go through and pick you know, how they want to visit you and, and how much time they want to spend on your booth. Are they being sorted by category or business, uh, type of business or any of that stuff? Or is it just going to be an alphabetical list? Alphabetical order is the is the default, but you can definitely go in. The beauty, too, of using the Whova app, and Matthew, I see you're on, so please correct me if I'm wrong, but the beauty of using uh, the virtual booth structure through Whova is you can go on, the, the attendee can go on at any particular time and if there is a business that they are really resonating with, they can, um, you know, sort of highlight that business or set it aside in a way um, to go back and look at that business, you know, anytime they want want to throughout the your images to a whole new dimension. Lit. So, to, Tamika, um, so so everybody, people are going to have a list, um, and if is there any other information that would right. let someone know that they want to um, visit your booth. So for example, if I provide HR services, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be the name of my company, will there be a description as well in terms of the services that I provide? Oh yes, so um, that was like one of the first things I mentioned earlier that you'll be able to, when they hover over your booth or even click on your booth, and this is where the example is gonna be really keen. So Shante, do you have that ready? No, so you have to give me push and share. Okay, because then you'll see, Pat, how you can drill down and see everything that I'm just, that I'm talking to you about. So I, I guess, I, uh, and we can watch the demo, but I, I think to her point is, is that I don't wanna go through 42 guys to find an HR consultant. I wanna go to a category mm -hmm. and look at, the different companies within that HR category to look at them. So, I, I mean, I think that's where she's going and that's kind of where I'm going is. Okay. You no, know, I don't want to have to, I don't want people to have to search for me. I want somebody that has an idea in mind that they want to, they want to buy a, a pen with the logo on it, that they go to promotional products and they click on promotional products and boom, it brings up whatever number of companies are part of the process. So I, I think that's where she was going and that's kind of where I'm going with it. Okay, thank you for that clarification. So thank Matthew, you. would you like to chime in on that one? Yeah, of course, yes. This is Matthew, I'm the account manager for the chamber of Rat Hoopa, um, kind of helping them get set up. Um, so to answer that question shortly, uh, they can search by category, they can search by company name, they can search by promotional item, um, so okay. definitely, uh, it will be a list on the left, but above you can categorize the exhibitors. So if they do want to just see HR exhibitors, you just click on that category and it'll only show up the four, six, 10 exhibitors that are fall into that category. Matthew, uh, same thing with promotional items as well. Matthew, can you clarify, is that based on a set structure that you develop with the chamber or is that based on the um, the the tags that people add to their own listing? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so there are there is a set structure um, set up with the categories themselves of the exhibitors, um, but you can also search by keyword um, by promotion. So it'll connect, you know, through, if you see in the top left here, above where it says my company, uh, there'll be categories under where it says all exhibitors. And then you can also search, you know, for company names, any, um, you know, related, 
term that might fall into that company's exhibiting booth. Was that helpful? So, okay. Yes. I'm gonna um and, and I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Before we get started though, I wanna just I can't see the um everyone on here, but who has already signed up for a booth um so far? Jade, why are you checking that? I could uh, I could play this video. I got queued up. Oh, I'm um okay. Well, it's um. She's already sharing. Already if you could share. let her finish. Oh. So Karen, um, I see anybody else? Um, uh, Pet Hall. Pat we just looked you up. So yep. <laughs> All of our sponsors, they have booths. Please so, um, Marrakesh. Marrakesh, okay. So you'll see, um, you've, you've probably been getting um, emails from me saying to set up your booth, reminders, things like that. So um, just gonna show you the back end of this um, when you're setting up your booth. You know, it's very simple. You're gonna put your company name, your logo. Um, you don't have to worry about the booth, booth number, your slogan. This is where you put your company description, your website, your address, your phone number. Whova um, generates a personal URL for you for your page. And here is where you'll add your, um, your live product demo and it could be a video. You'll see that when I go back to the page. Um, um, I, I added a, Hoover, um, a Zoom link. You can do Zoom, you can do um, live web, web links, I think it's called. Um, and this is where you'll do your 30 second video here. You can also include handouts, PDF file, you include your content information, your name, and whoever is going to man the booth or or will be kind of at the booth during the time. Okay, so this. Shante, is how Shante, not to. I saw there was an ad category that uh, you skipped over. I don't know if that's yep. applicable here. Yeah, to so this what is we where you put. About. Like, yeah. Yep. So this is where you'll put human resources or whatever right. the case is, and mm -hmm. and then when um like Miss um James is looking for, if you go to search for exhibitors, that's where the category will come. So if I put HR you'll see that her name came up here, human resources, because it's in her title. But if she put human resources in her category, it'll pull up in the search field. And Matthew, I'm just curious, how many uh, categories or words can you put in there? Um, so the categories itself, Shante, just to kind of clear things up as well, on that other screen, that is the organizer view. So that would just be for you. If you go ahead and copy and paste that personal link URL that you see right in the middle there. Yep, and then just open that up in a new tab. Uh, this is what the exhibitors will see um, when they when you get the email to set up your booth. Um, so if you coming up over here. Yeah, if you open up that link there, um, this is how you will set up your booth as the exhibitor. Yeah. On the back end there, that would be as the organizer. Um, so this is where you go in, create your promotional offers. You can also add up to five images there. You edit and add your live live stream link if you want to schedule out a live demo. Um, of your products or, you know, a meet and greet, you can pick a time that you'll be available. So you don't have to man that live stream all day. You can set it up, you know, I'll be there from 10 to 12 today. People can RSVP. So you have an idea about who's going. Um, when, you know, Darnell might send you over that product video, you can go in and add your product video there um, when it's ready. And then uh, the handouts, you get two of them as well. And then the company information. Um, so that would be, you know, your contact info, uh, the company description, I think somebody was asking about that as well. Um, so you can add as much as you'd like in there. You can add your slogan. Um, and then the booth staff itself, uh, you can either use the mobile app to add your booth staff um, or send it over to Shante and Tamika as they'll have to register them, you know, as being able to access the event. Um, so it's just kind of a security measure so that nobody can just add random people to the event. Can you guys talk a little a bit question. more? Can, can you guys talk a little bit more about manning the the booth and mm -hmm. any requirements around that? Yeah, I was just about to say you don't have to physically be there to man the booth. It's totally up to you. If you want to mm -hmm. be there two days or no days or an hour or four hours, it's totally up to you. Mm -hmm. So just think about that and build your booth with your content information so that if you're not able to be there, you have uh, enough information that people that will entice people and answer people's questions. I think that would be a, a good idea. Matthew, do you want to add anything? Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's exactly right. And um, as an exhibitor as well, you'll be able to, you're not just stuck to your uh, booth profile here. You can go interact on the community board. You can interact with the attendee list. Um, so you'll be able to reach out directly as, as you want. 
um, respond to your personal chat room on the right. And then every time you see that edit booth area, um, that'll open up that page where you added your information again. So if you need to update your live product video or you want to change your giveaway um, for a new day, you can do that on the fly. Um, you know, it's not just once you set it up, it's good. You can edit it as needed. So what it sounds like, correct me if I'm wrong, is that we have the 30 second video, which will be like part of your profile there on Whova. And then if you want to do um, so have someone man the booth, then you would yourself create like a Zoom link that people can go to. And that's the other link that you'd put in. Yeah. Okay. And if you see in the top right there, it says view live stream. Um, so that'll switch it over right to, you know, if you use Zoom specifically, um, it'll open up that Zoom meeting link or webinar link that you inputted uh, right in the Whova platform. Um, and again, you can schedule a time that you'll be available or that you'll be doing a demo. So people can RSVP, uh, you have an idea about who's going um, and you can change that up throughout the event as well. Great, thank you. Matthew, is there a limit to the number of booth staff that you can have? Um, I do, I do not believe there's a, there's a limit. Um, it would just be up to, you know, Tamika and Chante would have to approve it, um, cause they'd have to add them into the event, uh, give them, you know, access via their email that you've, you know, sent over or that you've added through the mobile app. If you'd like to download that, mm -hmm. um, you'll have a couple tools on there as well. Um, you can edit your booth. You can, you know, promote your booth through social media, through the mobile app. If you want to, you know, send something through LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter, um, and let people know that you're here. Uh, that is another, you know, great tool that will, that is on the mobile app. Okay, thank you. Can you go over again how the community board works and how interacting with attendees works? Yeah, yeah. So the community board is great for, you know, you can utilize this to add a topic or social group if you see in the top left, if you want to, you know, start a running chat um, and find out, you know, who might be interested in human resources for se per se or, you know, your specific company uh, directive and, you know, prompt a question, uh, start a chat that way and you can connect with uh, attendees. You can also suggest a meetup here, uh, which you can do virtually. Um, so if you want to have something outside of, you know, your live stream um, demo or your product video, uh, you can create one of these and set it up, you know, whoever would like to grab coffee in the morning, um, whoever would like to follow up after the demo um, for a Q and A, and so forth. Um, so this is a great way to interact with all the attendees outside of your booth, and then also through the attendee list as well. Um, somebody, you know, RSVP to your product demo, or somebody, you know, commented on your booth, um, you know, signed up for a promotional offer. You can go through the attendee list, send them a direct message. You know, hey, would you like to connect after the event? Um, you know, through the mobile app, you can exchange contact info, kind of like a, a e-business card. Uh, so there's a ton of ways to do that, you know, outside of your booth. Kathy, can you talk a little bit about, um, I, I, you can take questions now, but um, can you just touch on the passport later on? I think somebody was getting yeah, ready to the ask passport. Questions. Yeah, of course, of course. Did anybody else have any, you know, questions before I go through the, the passport contest here? I, I do. have a quick question. question. Mm -hmm. um, what, what is the deadline for setting up the booth? You really want to set it up as soon as possible because it's live mm -hmm. and I've gone ahead and already added you guys' logos and websites and your emails, but um, you know, people are actively going onto our site. So oh, we want God. as much content as soon as possible. Um, and even if you want to email it to me, um, you know, I prefer for you to go on it to your, on yourself so you can kind of get a feel for it. But if you, you know, are in a crunch and you need to email it to me, I can just upload it like I, like you were seeing earlier on the back end um, and I can, uh, you know, put in all your information, but it's easier for you to just go in and then, you know, see what it looks like and what other folks are looking at too. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hi, so I'm on my Wova link and I don't seem to have as many options as when you guys are scrolling through, like I saw that you guys have like the promotional tab, like I don't have any of those options. I have like, I just have company showcase and company information. So I didn't know if those are tabs that I have to somehow enable to utilize. Um, are you using the, the link that um, was sent via email um, for your direct like booth setup? Yes. 
Okay. So um, it says like 2020, but it looks just like yours. It's just that it looks like just like when I was getting scrolled through, it's just that I'm missing some categories for some reason. Should I, do you want me to just contact you directly on the side and we can figure out what's going on? I don't want to waste everybody's time if it's just me. Are you on the, yeah. are you on the sponsor link or the exhibitor link? Cause you're with Comcast. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm on the sponsor so, link. So you have two. So you guys are under sponsors and you're under um, exhibitors. So you'll Okay, have so to... this is just for my sponsor page and then I have to do another page for the exhibit. Correct. Okay, yeah. got it. So, I, um, so if you wanted to set it up differently, you have that option. If not, you can just input the same information. Um, the only thing that the sponsors won't have is the ability to use those promotional offers and things, um, but you will have the banner ads. And then your okay. exhibiting booth, that's where you can set up those promo offers and everything like that. Okay, I didn't realize those were different. Thank you. Good question, Darian. Uh, so I, I, have, I have a question, it's Bob Felice. Um, this is a, a, it's a whole new world for all of us, I assume. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great for you to show us how to set it up, but how do we maximize, is there going to be any training sessions on how to maximize our investment? I mean, you show a community board. I don't know what that means. I mean, I'm going to post something, but what does it mean? How do I maximize the opportunities that are offered without really understanding how it's done? Is there going to be some sort of training sessions? Um, so there is a guide that is sent through the link, you know, that you will set up your booth. Um, and that exhibitor guide will not only go through, you know, how to set up your booth, but how to take advantage of, you know, your the platform here, how to connect in the best ways to this exhibitor guide here. Um, so there's a there's a ton of options, you know, interacting with attendees, gathering leads, exporting your leads afterwards. Um, so you use the booth to showcase your products, your company information and everything. And then you also um, have the same virtual feel as the attendees themselves in terms of, you know, met, going through the the platform to interact um, as you'd like. Um, so it's just like you're you're physically at the event as well and you're not just stuck to you know your exhibitor booth. And just to follow up on what you were saying, Matthew, um, if Bob wants to interact with attendees, he's not limited, if, if I'm correct in understanding, he's not limited to just interacting with them with the attendees, you know, during that specific time. He can go on and interact with any uh, registered attendees that he wants to as well. If he, you know, yeah. looks at their business or finds out a little bit more about them, you know, through their through their name and says, oh, that would be a, a good target for me, then he can kind of proactively reach out to them as well. Yes, exactly. Um, so you'll be able to, you know, direct message. And like I said, through, through the mobile app, um, you can exchange contact info. Um, there is a matchmaking feature there that will recommend certain attendees based on their profiles. So if they're from a similar industry, uh, they have the same interests, maybe they have the same job background. Uh, it'll list uh, those type of attendees out for you. So building on that question, Tamika, can you clarify, there, there are two ways to optimize this investment, right? The first is through the, the WOVA app and the virtual booth platform. And the second is through what the chamber is doing through the social media promotion of who the sponsors are and the booths and the emails and all that. So there's both the in-app engagement model with the attendees and the community after the event. And then there's the, the social the media promotion. promotion yeah, our actually doing, right? Mm -hmm. Our marketing and social media. So to answer Bob's question too, that's another way. So when I mentioned in the very beginning that we are helping to drive traffic to this expo. I was mentioning all the different ways that we're doing it with the billboards and um, the social media posts and the email blasts. So we're doing our part to make sure we bring everybody to this platform, to this website. And then once they're there, then you can definitely interact as, as I was just explaining um, and then use the community uh, tools that uh, are being showed you on the screen as well. So will, um, how long will these booths be up for? Will it be till the end of the year or will it yes. be okay. through Thank December 31st? Mm -hmm. Good questions. Is there anything else that somebody wants to see demoed? Um, I think, Anne, I saw a question that you asked in the chat. Uh, let me find that. 
And Bob, you got to think too. I, I was an exhibitor last year, right? So that even if you're not like super tech savvy, you literally like think about last year where there's the, it's a long event. So there's a lot of in and out traffic. While you're talking to one person, you can't be talking to another person. Tech savvy or not, you have a whole year to basically go through a list of potential leads because people are there to do business. They've attended this event, they're, they signed up to do this event. So you could pragmatically now, systematically, however you want, go through the list of attendees and businesses and, and you know, cold, hot, however the lead is, you know, foster partnerships, all, all types of things without having to be confined to those hours of the event. And even like with me, there's certain like, I might not have to start a conversation, I might not. So you get to just be methodical in every step of the way in your lead process as far as this is concerned. And then if you do have a video, like if you do have a small piece of content, it's half the prices last year. And you get to really have engaging conversation with each and every person that walks through the doors virtually. And it's like, you know, that's that's pretty cool. And like, just without being like super tech savvy, without taking advantage of all this other stuff, it's that option right there, which is the oldest thing in the book. You have almost like a Rolodex. I, I think I said it to Glenn the other day. You have a Rolodex of like people that you could just contact, you know? So that's pretty cool in itself. And then with Matthew and like, he's there to help you take advantage of any of those little funny things that are like pop-ups or notifications or, and I'm sure there's analytics and all type of stuff to see how well your videos are doing and like stuff like that. So there's a lot of advantages that you could take. If you go like deep with it or you just stay the basics, like let me just reach out with, and you know, you've been in business while I'm sure you know what a potential lead is, then you could pounce on it, you know? So, I, you know, just to kind of just iterate what Tamika and Matt was saying. And that's a great segue to um, Anne's question. She asked about um, going over managing leads and creating discussion topics. So Matthew, can you talk about discussion topics? And then she asked about how can you tell that somebody visited your booth? Yes. Um, so the managing the leads, um, you know, uh, as they come through, uh, you'll have a list of them that you can export. Um, mostly done on the mobile app right now is you can personally export them. Um, and then we can also share that list of leads post event as well. So you have that in an Excel file um, and you can follow up with their names and emails. Um, the discussion topics itself uh, is pretty free range. You can, you know, add any types of discussion discussion topics you like that's not restricted to certain categories. Um, so if you want to start a thread on, you know, something pertaining directly to your business or directly to your industry um, and have people chime in and then follow up on those leads, you can. Um, in terms of the visits for the booth, uh, we will let you know how many people visited the booth. Uh, you'll be able to export your leads or the people that maybe signed up for your um, promotional offer or requested more information. Uh, but we do not share the information of just everyone who visited. Uh, it's very similar to in-person events. You know, if they walk by your booth and look at it, um, they'd have to interact with you to, you know, for you to gain that phone number or email. Um, you don't just get a list of everybody that walked through the exhibit hall. Um, so we'll, we'll let you know how many people visited. Um, and then they'd have to, you know, sign up for a deal or um, request more information for you to kind of export their information. So, so how do you qual quantify something as a lead versus somebody who visited your booth? Um, the lead would be more of, you know, like I said, if they signed up for a promotional offer or if they requested more information, um, okay. you know, if you communicated with them through the chat, uh, you can go through the attendee list and kind of follow up and, and collect that information as well. And posting a, a discussion topic, that's done on the community board, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's posting a discussion topic is done on the community board and you can do that at any time. Um, you know, and, and like I said, there's no you know boundaries on, on what kind of topics you can choose. Thank you. Uh, I see we're near, we're, oh, I didn't realize we're after one o'clock. Um, so I do see uh, Jeanette Baxter's question in the chat. If um, someone, Matthew or Shantae can answer her question in the chat. Uh, oh, there you go. Thank you, Shantae, you've answered it. <laughs> I was gonna just quickly um, close it up by sharing, and we're definitely here for additional questions um, you know, after this, but let me just quickly share um, again, uh, this last slide. And then we'll be done. And then we've got to hear from Rich. Oh, 
Okay, let me just move the square. Sorry, I'm just trying to move the squares over so that you can see. Okay, so again, um, to register, you would go to our website. Um, and this is just, you know, you go to our website, you go to events, and then you'll be able to see where it says virtual booth. And when you click on this, you'll, you'll actually see a place where you can register for your booth. And as I mentioned earlier, for any questions, Ray Andreessen, our Director of Membership Services is available. So I've given his phone number and his email address, or as Betsy and Glenn said, you know, your business development executive. Um, and now I wanted to hand it over to Rich with the New Haven, your New Haven Register, as you say all the time, to please close us out. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Rich Catanese. I've been with the New Haven Register for the last 22 years and for the last 15 been the Chamber's uh, advertising contact. Um, Hearst Media, you may better know as the, the Connecticut Post, the Norwalk Hour, the Danbury News Times, and even Connecticut Magazine and Connecticut Bride. So we own and operate eight, eight daily newspapers in the state, 23 weeklies, and as I said, two magazines, but we're, we're once again proud to be the media sponsor for the big event. Uh, historically, that would mean we would produce a schedule of events, a map of, of the uh, floor plan of the facility, and obviously a directory of who's participating. Um, this year, it'll be a little different. Um, we will be doing in some advanced advertising of the event on Sunday the 15th in the register as well as the Connecticut Post. We'll be repeating that, um, those full page ads in Sunday the, I'm sorry, November 8th, we'll be running ads as well as November 15th. And then we've decided to run quarter pages the three days of the events in the newspapers so that it'll basically be Monday's events, Tuesday's events, Wednesday and Thursday. We've come up with several advertising plans. Hopefully we've tried to simplify them as best as possible, but they basically um, are designed to put the right, the right audience in front of your business at the right price, et cetera, et cetera. So what we've done is we have the idea of a four-time frequency advertising plan or a one-time so that you can associate your business with the, with the best events the best scheduled events that suit you best or from an alignment standpoint or from a subject standpoint. Um, we also will be doing, it's basically bundled so that there is targeted display advertising that's associated with that. And so that we can uh, basically find volunteers for you, you know, or we can find business to business people for you. We can find execs for you. So it's one of those, it's, it's basically, um, designed that you really just tell us your ideal at your ideal customer or consumer and we'll help you design I hate to use the term but we will a holistic solution to your specific business at, at the price point that makes the most sense for you um, are there any questions actually at the moment Are you tying the promotion of the event to your LinkedIn profile where professionals are following what's going on in Connecticut and, and tagging the chamber event through LinkedIn that people could um, who take advantage of this opportunity then leverage to reach your followers? We, uh, I could check on that. Generally, we do not do that because the, those pages are editorial pages as opposed to advertising pages. But um, I do know that we will be using our Facebook, pay, our social pages to, to advertise the event um, and, and to advertise the fact that we are a media sponsor. I can inquire about that question for you. Well, though. No, yes. it, that's a great answer because people can then share that and announce that they've taken advantage of this and share sure. that with their community mm -hmm. um, and, and link to it that way. So they can reach the audience by being proactive about the share. Very good. It's a, you know, as I said, it's a fairly, I mean, this is very, I don't want to call it, we call it traditional media, but one of the things um, to Darnell's point is if you have a video, we can take that video and embed embed the video within those banner ads 
to help just basically repurpose creative and assets that you already have. That way you're basically um, creating some consistency with this month, with the month of November going forward so that uh, you have a unified front, both in print, both online and, and, act, and at the booth as well. Are there any other questions for Rich? Okay, uh, we recorded this uh, training uh, booth camp, if you will. And so we will be sending this out. Uh, if you registered through, um, which I think all of you is, I think I made it a default that when you came into Zoom, you had to put your name and your email address. So I can send a mass email to all of you with this recording so you can watch it again at your leisure. We can also post this on the Chamber's YouTube site. So you'll have that. And we probably will send this out in subsequent email blasts as well. So that, you know, just everybody can watch it. You can pause it. You can go back to it a couple of times. And again, we're here at the Chamber to assist you. So between Ray, myself, Shante, uh, Glenn, and Betsy, um, you should be you should be covered. And I'm just looking at the chat to, I, to see if I see any other questions. I don't think I do. Shante has put also in the chat the link to register for your booth. That's in the chat. And I can save this chat and send you the actual chat itself as a separate file. So don't worry about, oh, I got to get it right now. I can save this chat and send it out too. Um, so I apologize we went over time, but again, we're here to answer your questions. And so it's good to see all of you. Thank you so much for your time and your attention and all the good questions. Have a good Thank one. You. Thank you very Stay much. Well. Thank you, everyone. Look forward to hearing from you.